Hello everybody, I'm Pastor Bob Reeve, the Senior Pastor of the Cause Community Church, and I'm so glad you're here today for the beginning of Unprecedented, which is our Fall 2008 Life Group Emphasis. You know, a number of months ago, God really laid on our heart that He wanted to see a church that was really growing strong spiritually in every single way, and He talked to me about the fact that the fall would be a time of unprecedented spiritual growth for those men and women that were willing to really give themselves to God. So I am really excited about what God's doing here and uh, what's going to happen in your time with us over the next eight sessions. Unprecedented is uh, a, a time together with your life group that uh, I think is going to be absolutely phenomenal and we're believing for great things for, for, for your life during this time together. Today, as part of our first session, uh, and, uh, and all through the sessions, I'm going to be doing a real quick intro for you to focus your time together, and then you're going to be studying the Word together on a specific topic. But today in particular, I wanted to talk to you about uh, what we're going to be presenting to you, which is going to be the backbone of your spiritual growth time over the next four months, and that is our daily journal that I'm going to be uh, talking about in just a moment. And as we talk about unprecedented, what I believe is going to happen here is, is actually two mission critical things for the Cause Community Church for our people. Uh, we have a couple things that are really important to us. Is number one, in a life group, our, our primary purpose is that people are growing while sharing life together. But we also want to see men and women that are loving the Word of God and applying its principles to daily living. And so that this is what unprecedented is all about. It's a critical part of what I believe God's doing in the life of our church right now. You know something, as we uh, get ready to launch into this time together, your life group leader, hopefully either right now or has already passed out to you, a special life journal which has a Bible reading plan into it. It has journal pages for you to write down what God is speaking to you and co complete instructions about how to do that. So I want you to get that into your hands right now because I'm going to talk to you about that. So go ahead and pass that out. One of the things too, church, I want you to know as they're passing that out to you is that there's a cost involved in this. We'd like to ask you, each of you, to pay $5 for the journal as we believe that's an an important, uh, important investment that you're going to make in yourself. So if you can do that, that would be great. Just give that to your life group leader today, and we'll make sure to cover all the expenses for this journal together. In the journal, what you're going to see is, uh, is a lot of blank pages and then a few pages of instruction. Primarily what, what we're believing God for is we're believing uh, God that as we spend time together in His Word and really understand and seek Him, that uh, we're going to see some great things accomplished in our lives. Uh, the journal is developed by... Um, a uh, pastor out of Hawaii named Wayne Cordero, and he has this book here that I would highly recommend to you. It's called The Divine Mentor, and it's about, in particular, what he's learned while studying the Word of God from the mentors as revealed in the Word of God. It's a fabulous book, and it completely explains this uh, personal Bible study process that we're going to be asking, uh, asking you all to to be a part of. I am super excited about this. We've been doing it and it's been changing our life and I know it's going to change your life as well. Proverbs chapter 29, I'm sorry, Proverbs chapter 25 verse 28 says this, it says, like a city whose walls are broken down is a man who lacks self-control. Men and women, I believe that that verse is indicative of the fact that, that if, if, if a city has no fortification, if it has no protection, it's easy prey to the attacks of the enemy. And the same way in your life is that if you have not built up the protections in your life, if you have not built up solid walls to protect your soul and your spirit, then you too can be easy prey for the enemy. And this fall right now, starting tonight right now, I believe that we're going to start making sure that our personal lives are protected that we're living strong for God. Well, hopefully now you have journals in your hand, and as you look through the journal, there's a few pages of instructions. There's some pages for you to fill in, and I just wanted to hit light. I'm sorry to highlight a couple of things with you about this journal, and you're going to have to do some exploring to kind of figure out how to use it yourself. Uh, the first thing I want to mention to you is that is that this is a daily journal. I want to encourage you with everything I have in you to make reading the Bible, praying, and journaling every day a regular part of your experience each and every day. You know something, the, the uh, um, 
Students of, of human behavior say that it takes 21 days to develop a habit. So do you realize you're just three weeks away from having a great godly habit in your life? By the way, if you're already reading the Bible daily, I'd like to encourage you to, to add this to your daily process. It's very simple. It's really powerful. And I think it will help get us all on the same page together. You know, the, the benefits of discipline are incredible. It certainly requires us to make some changes, but the benefits are absolutely amazing. And uh, as you get into this journal, as you get into the, uh, the, the Bible reading program, I just want to encourage you that uh, each and every day, I just want you to focus on getting one thing, just one thing out of the Word of God. And as you get that one thing out of the Word of God, that's going to be your focus for the day. As you look at your journal, there's Four things that, are gonna, that, that we're asking you to do. Number one is S stands for Scripture, O stands for op Observation, A stands for Application, and P stands for Prayer, S-O-A-P. That's right, it means it, uh, it's an acrostic for soap. Scripture, Observation, Application, and Prayer. You're going to look up in your journal what, what the daily passage is for this particular date. Look up in there and read that scripture passage. Then look for one verse that speaks to you, just one verse. And after you've written down that one verse in your journal, just write a few of your observations about that verse, what, it, what you think it says. And then write a few thoughts about what it means to you. That's the application. And then we'd like you, out, like you to write out maybe just a one-sentence prayer about what you're believing God for that day. And that simple process should, shouldn't really take much more than anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes. If you spend 10 minutes reading the passage and 10 minutes writing those things out, that's 20 minutes there. If it takes 20 minutes each, then it'll be a little bit longer. But your life is going to grow so much and become so powerful. So you're going to need five things to be successful in this process. And as you discover your journal, it'll be crystal clear. Number one, you're going to need your Bible. And you need a Bible that you're not afraid to write in, not afraid to underline in. Have a Bible that you really want to learn and make it a part of your life. You're going to need to bring your journal, which we're providing for you tonight, today. You're going to want a pen because you're going to want to record what God is saying to you through His Word, which is awesome. You're going to want to bring the, you're going to want to use the Bible reading plan, which we've also provided for you in the journal, a daily Bible reading plan that will take you several times through the New Testament over the course of a year. We're just focusing on the New Testament right now. And then also, I would encourage you to bring a daily planner so that you can kind of cross off um, you know, those things that come to your mind that aren't strategic or specific to your time in the Word together. So if you have your daily planner, you can write down those little to-do to -do list things that come up in your mind and then move on and focus in on what God has for you. So I'm really excited that you're going to be launched starting out on this journey. Your life group is going to be awesome. You're going to be learning a lot of things together. But this daily journal, the daily Bible reading, is the backbone of the unprecedented uh, ex uh, precedented spiritual growth campaign that, that is going on right now. So seek God, seek Him daily, be strong, it's going to be awesome. If you have any questions, check with your life group leader, they'll be able to help you. And I also uh, just want to encourage you to, to uh, just seek Him with all you have. One more thing too, if you skip a day, miss a day, maybe you miss four or five days in a row, don't sweat it, there is no condemnation. Any reading might be more than you're doing right now anyway. So just start at whatever day you're at. And if you want to go back later and pick it up, that's up to you. But as this becomes a part of your life, believe me, there's going to be plenty of opportunities to get those passages of Scripture you may have missed on a busy day. We love you. Be blessed. We'll see you next time. Session 2 coming up.